I'm curious, does every hornbill have a cask of its own? Yeah, um, the cast, and it's actually an extension of the beak. It's made out of the same material, but then as they get older, it becomes more and more defined. Uh -huh. We actually don't know what the cask is for. Why get it this big? And that's the thing, because there hasn't been that much research done, and that's why people are baffled by structures like this. Yeah. There are many, many theories. In this case, I'm measuring specific points in the body yep. to see which parts radiate the most temperature. All right. And it's found that with all the birds that had a big cast, the cast was the body part that lost the most heat. Mm. If you work out, you're, you get, fl yeah, you get yeah, flushed. Yeah, your, your face gets red. You need to lose yep, heat. Yep, yep. The main thing is, of course, it's just to have a greater understanding of, the of these birds. But there is always a possibility that we can end up actually applying this to similar animals. Yeah. It can even be um, applied to many extinct, like dinosaurs oh. or pterosaurs, ones that have these gigantic, elaborate crests. Very fascinating species. Um, where did this passion for you begin? I think I first saw hornbills when I was six or seven. Something of this magnitude just... Just drawn straight yeah. away. Yeah. And so when I was looking for um, a good graduate school program, yep. and when I came across Mahidon, I came across the Hornbill Research Foundation. All right. It's headquartered in Mahidon's, but yep. it's, it's a networked foundation. All right. John Pilai Punswat, yep. she's been instrumental in promoting for Hornbill conservation yep. work yep. and also re research work. Yep. So I, d I came here and I've been lucky to work in such a um, good facility. A nickname for um, the hornbills are called the farmers of the forest. The farmers of the forest. Why, why is that? Because hornbills are pr primarily frugivorous, which means they eat fruits. Uh -huh. They'll carry that fruit um, and then the seeds. And that means allow the trees to disperse their seeds right, from a long right, distance. All right, all right. So they're actually very crucial to their yeah. habitat. Yeah. yeah. And so let's say a bird gets adversely affected by the climate. Yep. Trees will have less opportunities to have their seeds pass around. In turn, reduce the food source for the birds. And then it just That's big spiraling event. I see that your research is something that is very specific, but yet very crucial. Not only the conservation of the species, but other similar species. I can feel your passion from all you told me today. Thank you for your time. Thank you.